In this video, we will learn about the different components of a chart. It's very easy to create a copy of this chart. When you select this chart and you can use your copy keyboard shortcut control C and then click anywhere and then use the keyboard shortcut control V and this will copy and create a new chart. And it's very easy to move the chart anywhere on the screen because it is just a layer floating on top of the grid. And also you can move this chart to another worksheet if you would like. For example, if I do right click, move chart, then Excel will ask me, do I want to move this chart as an object, which is just like this, in a different worksheet because as you know we have different worksheets in our in our workbook and so you can move it to any other worksheet as a, as just an object or chart object or you can just put chart in its own sheet so let's try that and you can give a name to this i'm just going to leave it as the default chart one click okay so what excel has done now you can see in the tabs here there are four worksheets before and now Excel has created a new one and moved that chart over here. This is going to be convenient for us because we can see things more clearly and in a large um, size. So I'm going to keep this here for now, but I want you to understand that you can create a sheet which is just the chart. In the regular worksheet, you will actually have grid of cells, but in a chart sheet, you'll just have the chart occupying the full screen and nothing else. Now, now that the chart is the selected item, then you can see that there are three additional ribbons that have appeared under chart tools, which are not there when you don't have a chart selected. And this is true even if the chart is just an object in your entire worksheet, like here, if I select this chart, you still get those three extra ribbons. And if I don't select it, if I select a cell, then those ribbons go away. So let me go back to our chart. And this is our chart sheet. And let's understand the different components of a chart. And let's go to the layout ribbon to understand that better. So the first thing we will look at is this. So this is the chart title. And in the layout ribbon, you see here the chart title. And this can help you decide the location of this title. And you can either have it above the chart or you can have it centered overlay, which looks like this, or you can have it above the chart always. And these options here will control the location of the different components or different items on the chart. And this is the title which tells the user or the reader what this chart is about. And then let's look at the other options here. So when you go through this menu item, when you see more title options, it'll open up where you can control the, the background fill and all the formatting around this title object. So I'm gonna undo that by pressing Control Z because I don't want that color. But you can go back to the layout. Let's go and talk about the axis titles. This is the next item. And before I do that, one thing you'll notice is that when I select an item here, you see here that this is displaying the element or the chart element name. So this is the chart title. And let's say I click on this, and this is the vertical value axis. And in this, in this axis titles dropdown, you will see the primary vertical axis title and it is set to none. That's why you don't have a title here. But if you would like to apply a title here, then I click the rotated title, which looks rotated. You can also have other orientations, such as vertical title or a horizontal title. But I'm gonna just click inside this box here and Control A will select everything. And I'm going to just type in the number of books. So this is going to be what is represented in this vertical axis. So I can easily control 
the title, where that's located, how it's oriented, and also when I go through the more options, you will see how I can control the formatting of this. Similarly, I have primary horizontal axis title, and this is also set to none, but let's say, um, and I'll show you why, because you see here the labels here, but the horizontal axis doesn't have a title. So axis titles, horizontal axis title, title below the axis, so this will create a, an area for us to give a title to this and this is going to be the book name so I'm going to type in book name and now we have given titles to the both axis and then let's go to the legend so legend is nothing but this element here which shows that the blue blue area or the blue color is used for the columns which represent quantity and this doesn't make a whole lot of sense now because you only have one series but let's say we want to plot quantity and sales in the same chart then you want to have something which differentiates the two series so you will see the blue quantity green sales for example so the legend is going to be the key in that context so legend can be you can put it at the top for example i moved it up to the top or you can also use more legend options and then um, choose the formatting for that. One thing is you cannot really edit it here, whereas when you double click it, you get the formatting control box here. But for example, the title, I can just click inside and then I change the quantity to something else. Similarly, I can change this title by clicking inside. Click, one more click inside, you will, you will be able to edit these titles. But the legend, you can't edit it because it's controlled by what you had in your series name. So you have to open up the chart and then choose a different name that will appear automatically in your legend on the chart. So that's how you would change the legend. And now data labels are nothing but numbers which you can put or display on top of these um, columns. So these height of these columns determine the magnitude or indicate the magnitude of these values. For example, this book, Discovery of India, the quantity sold was a little over 1200. We can see that from this, but I'm, I don't know for sure exactly what the number is. When you hover over your mouse, Excel will tell you the series name is quantity. The point is Discovery of India, which is the book here. And the value is 1230. So it tells me, but when I move my mouse about, uh, to some other place, I can't see the amount or the actual magnitude of these values. And so for that, Excel gives an option where we can actually add data labels like this way, or you can also go here and then say, show me the data labels in the center. So it shows in the center of this column, but you can also show, sorry, and you can also, you can also choose inside N, it shows it inside the column N, and, and then inside the base, which will be here. So you can control where it's shown. You can also choose outside N, which shows above the column. Yeah. And now you can see that this data label can also be controlled by the different formatting options, which you can see when you open up this more options. You can choose to show for example, I can choose to show both the book name and the amount on the chart, or I can also choose, for example, what is this? This is quantity and the number. So that's the name of the series. So you can decide how you want, what you want to display as data labels. You can also control the position, and you can also change the, the number formatting for this. For example, I can choose currency again, just to illustrate, I can change it here, even though the source data that we are using for this chart is still just a number, but I can show it here as a currency format. And if you just want to stick to, let's link it to the source so that I don't have to worry about setting the number format on the chart. When I click linked to source, Excel will automatically say, whatever is in the source of the data, then the same number format will be used here. So I'm gonna close it here. So now we talked about the data labels. Data table 
is let's show data table so that'll be easy to understand the data table is nothing but the numbers that we are using for this chart will be shown as a table and this can sometimes be helpful when you have lots of columns and people need to see the data quickly in the in the table format that can also be added but i don't see a lot of cases where you need to do that but in some cases you may have so if you don't want it i'm going to choose none and that disappears so we've talked about these labels uh, again you can click inside and then edit them or you can go and choose more options that will give you more options also you can double click any of them and the formatting options will show up 